The news over the weekend was all about cursor.ai. No, it's not a swear word. C-U-R-S-O-R. -S this is an AI code editing tool that devs are just absolutely raving about. I'll tell you some of the folks talking about it. They're really big names uh, in a couple minutes here. It really focuses on being able to enable the actual workflows the developers are already using to go faster. And so the demo right on the website is showing you, hey, parallelize this API so it goes faster. Um, or, hey, could you help me find like a tab to auto-complete this piece of code that I'm working on for a component? And it, you just tab through and it sort of auto-completes based on the structure that you have. So the idea is, as a developer, you already have an idea of what to build. You just want something that helps you extend your thought pattern and go quicker. And so it's taking this concept of an engineer who thinks clearly and can design systems and separating that from who is writing the code. And now Cursor is writing the code and the engineers are still doing the thinking. This has caught on. So Anders Karpathy, who is a co-founder at OpenAI, or who was a co-founder at OpenAI, used to be a director of AI at Tesla, is now a founder over at his own ed tech startup. He tweeted over the weekend that he is now using Cursor for a lot of his programming. He's programming in English effectively, and Cursor is just helping him to rip through that much, much faster. Cursor exploded, obviously. Like when if, if a founder of OpenAI is willing to say this, it's a big deal. Why Combinator? is talking about the fact that most of their founders, many of their founders are using something like Cursor AI for their coding. So they're coding in English as well. AWS's CEO, again, over the weekend this news broke, gave a fireside chat saying, if you go forward 24 months from now or some amount of time, I can't exactly predict where it is. It's possible that most developers are not coding. That now looks like it might be late. We may be doing that sooner. And then just to round it all off, uh, Sahil Lavingia, Lavingia, I'm actually not sure of how to pronounce his last name, uh, CEO at Gumroad, also has an entire YouTube series up on how to code with Cursor. That is how fast this is breaking. People are talking about this as a chat GPT moment specifically for coding. And yes, they're comparing it to other things like co-pilot and they're saying this isn't close like cursor is so much better and when i look at that i see how deeply embedded it is in developer workflows it doesn't require you to change your workflow it just helps you get your work done faster and i think that is a real clue to where are the products that are going to really break through for ai take what you already do make it tremendously better easier faster and just get out of the way and that's what cursor is focused on to the point where a guy like Amar Rishi, head of design at Eleven Labs, can do a Twitter thread over the weekend saying, I am coding a Mac app. I have never coded before. I'm using Cursor. Follow me as I do so, right? He's going to just sort of live, live uh, tweet the entire thing. And he's just the head of design, right? He's not a coder. And that's how quickly things are changing. So all of that to say, if you haven't played with Cursor yet, What's stopping you from playing with Cursor?